Welcome to Tier 1 Jank. I am Marcus and it is once again Deck Tech time. This is a little bit of a continuation from the Deck Tech I gave you yesterday. That one was a uh, Jeskai Rel combo. Uh, this one is a Is It version. It's a little bit more aggressive. We stripped out the white cards and just gone with red and blue. So this one is trying to pack the punch on a little bit earlier. We're not putting all the life gain and things in there. so. We'll uh, go ahead and get started with the deck tech here. Uh, if you're not familiar, uh, if you haven't seen my last deck tech, it was also on Raw. His uh, static ability says whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, he deals one damage to target opponent or planeswalker. So what we're trying to do is make infinite copies of spells to keep uh, triggering Raw to damage our opponent. And the way we're going to do that is with Expansion Explosion. Also, double cast. Now, the way this works is we use one of our one mana cost spells like After Shock. Uh, while it's on the stack, we cast Expansion to copy it. And you have to have a second copy of Expansion in your hand to make it work this way. You cast the second copy while the first one is on the stack still. Target the first one. You make a copy of Expansion, which makes another copy of Expansion, on and on and on and you can do as many points of damage as you need to. Uh, the other way to do it is with uh, raw double cast and expansion. And the way to do that is you have to use raw's negative two, which is gonna, uh, says when you cast your next instant or sorcery spell this turn, copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. So it's a little bit trickier this way, you have to use raw's negative two, then cast double cast. Um, you have to allow the Raw trigger to go off, you have to allow the copied double cast to resolve, and then while the first one's on the stack, because expansion needs a target to copy, you're going to cast expansion targeting double cast, and since your first double cast has resolved, it's going to make two expansions, and you can continue the combo the same as before. If you're doing this on Arena, you have to make sure that you um, use full control mode. Otherwise, it will just skip right through. You'll just get two copies of double cast. It won't allow you to target it with expansion like you would normally be able to. Um, I think that's a special case because of Rawls negative two. It's not normally it will hold priority for you if you have an expansion in your hand that you're able to play, but in that case, it doesn't. So just make sure that you're using full control and holding priority to be able to cast that correctly. Um, like I said, we stripped out all the white cards. Uh, we have the four opt and four shock like we had in the other deck. We have two blink of an eye, four last depth plating. Uh, a little bit different here, we have four electrostatic fields. Now if we're not able to get the raw combo going, this is just another way to kill our opponent. Uh, you know, you, we might kill our opponent with the fields before we even draw a raw sometimes. So we need uh, another way to win. We have four lightning strikes, two Sahelis that are going to put little servos on the board for us. Uh, two copies of Pirate's Pillage. I like this with Raul. Um, uh, Raul's negative two. You cast Pirate's Pillage. You have to discard a card, but you're going to draw four cards and make four treasures. Have, you know, four more mana open to cast more spells. You know, maybe we didn't have the pieces we needed in our hand for the combo. Well, we cast this, we draw four fresh new cards, and we have the mana available to cast the combo if we draw the cards, so I like that. Uh, and then to finish out the deck, we have the four copies of Raw and the four copies of Expansion. Um, I did throw a sideboard together quickly for this deck. We'll go check that out. We have uh, four copies of Negate and four copies of Sinister Sabotage. Um, the Negate's mostly for control matchups. Uh, Sabotage 2, you might bring this in for other problem things that you know the, the deck's just not going to be able to deal with otherwise but I think it probably mostly comes in against control. Uh, three fiery cannonades just for really aggro decks that are going to get out a bunch of creatures with low toughness that we don't want to waste all our shocks and everything on. Maybe we can just throw down a fiery cannonade and get rid of the whole group in one shot. And two copies of Niv-Mizzet. Uh, especially against control this is a, a really good card to have. I think maybe this should be three even. Maybe we'll drop one fire cannonade. Making changes right now. We're going to drop a fire cannonade and go up to three nibs. How about that? Um, and that is the deck. Uh, in case you were wondering, I didn't show a sideboard for the Jeskai roll combo. That one made a little bit different. 
Um, you know, I I did tone I did uh, change this deck slightly from yesterday too. Okay, deck. So I think I, I cut down a couple of copies of Lazatep plating and the Deposed Deploy, and put in the four Lightning Strikes. Uh, I moved those four cards to the sideboard, so we have two plating and two uh, Deposed Deploy in the sideboard, along with four cop the copies of Dove and Vito. And mostly against uh, other control matchups. This is just, uh, I mean, I wouldn't say other control matchups, not necessarily a control deck, but it's more of a combo deck. But against control, this is a great card. It just stops whatever you're doing and ends the counter war right there. Uh, two copies of Invoke the Divine. Uh, this is against any problem artifacts or enchantments, but really the reason I put this in the sideboard of one of my other decks that I take to my LGS to play in paper is that I don't like. Uh, Wilderness Reclamation. I don't like the the I forget the name of the the color of the deck or the the color combination, but the uh, green, red, blue Wilderness Reclamation decks. What is it? Teamer Teamer Reclamation. That that Wilderness Reclamation man <laughs> is broken, and I like to get rid of it with. Uh, actually, I don't usually use Evoke to Divine. There's also another one that lets you scry one. But I think in this case, we just got so much other life gain in the deck. I just want to stay along with the theme and go along with the Invoke the Divine. I uh, also have two copies of Southern Wreckage and the three Niv that we were seeing in the other deck. Um, so this is just kind of uh, thrown together, so there might be better options for the sideboard, but I'm going to show you guys what I have so far. So that is the deck. I will be coming out with more decks uh, shortly. I think I have about 50 on here as you can see, but they're not all in top condition and I don't want to give them to you before they're ready. That's a lie. I will. <laughs> I'll give them to you before they're ready. But uh, thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the deck. Uh, let me know what else you'd like to see. Let me know what you think of the deck down in the videos. Like the video if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel. And thank you for joining me. I'll catch you next time.